Hey, what's up, guys? Right now, I'm going to be doing a comparison between Adam Zabo's JP6K and the JP8080. They are, well, JP, the JP6K is based on the JP8000, uh, I believe, uh, because it doesn't have a detune, or not a detune, a uh, unison. It has a detune, actually. Um, and uh, I'm going to be looking at the Super Saw section and the Filter section. Uh, and if we have enough time, the bass and treble tone control. So, uh, let's uh, get on it. Um, top right here, top left, uh, is the JP6K. Right next to it is its uh, uh, oscilloscope or signal analyzer. At the bottom here, we have the JP8080 uh, and the signal analyzer right next to it. So uh, let's start with the JP8080. We're starting off on the Super Saw oscillator uh, with zero detune and uh, no saw mix so this is just a single saw on both of them so let's do the JP8080 now then I froze it there you have it very neat the JP6K does sound a little thin Yeah, the JP6K, or the yeah, the JP6K, has a little bit of a, uh, a higher harmonic than the 8080, and uh, yeah, I don't know why, but there's a lot more interesting things going on in the 6K. Uh, the oscillator, or I believe the aliasing, or whatnot. It's quite a bit of jaggies, uh, and then then there's quite a bit of no jaggies. It's very smooth kind of a smooth contour uh, and this is a little bit jaggier uh, I don't know why that is uh, but that could explain the higher upper harmonics uh, we may or may not be hearing but uh, yeah let's get into the character of the 8080 when I bring the mix up to 100 I'm going to do this slowly and in increments check this out That's at 50. So now they're all fully mixed in. I'm going to be doing the same with the 6K. Oh, there's also uh, it's a demo version, so every 30 seconds there's like a second of silence. So you have to bear with me. So I'm going to be turning the mix up first to 50 and then all the way to 100. That's at 50, obviously. All right, it's a little more intense. The JP8080, it's it's more like smaller in terms of its amplitude, uh, and the 6K is a little more intense. right up there it gets right up there uh, in terms of its amplitude when they both had basically the same starting I think that's because of the the when the oscillator or the the saws when they stack up on top of each other you get volume but with the 8080 from some Japanese late 90s magic you get no um, increase in volume let's see if the 8080 does the same thing as the saws stack up into each other Not so much, uh, and that's not really a problem. Um, but uh, if we're talking about kind of a faithful recreation, it's still very, very, very close, and I'm very impressed. Uh, and it's comparable to the virus emulation. Uh, you know, it's not quite, I don't know, maybe it's something to do with something. Who knows? Uh, but yeah, let's uh, bring the detune up to 50% on the JP and this is where the sound comes from so let's start now
right? So all those saws have become detuned from each other. Same thing here, we're gonna do the exact same thing. Basically indistinguishable. Very nice. Um, uh, let's just for fun uh, move the uh, 8080 up to 100% detune, and this sounds a little unpleasant, um, but uh, it's a good example because, yeah, I guess it's just a good example um, uh, because the the detune it's a non-linear contour, so like the more if you yeah, the higher you go, like the the amount of detune that changes between uh, points changes, and you'll hear that now. Check this out. So from there, so from like nine o'clock to, I guess no, not nine o'clock, three o'clock to five o'clock, you get a vast change more than you would from one or midnight to three. So it's non-linear, and uh, yeah, let's see if the 6K does the same thing, which it advertises to do, so I wouldn't be surprised if it does. Damn it. Pretty much the same contour, the same. Uh, it acts in the same way, which is which is good, and uh, a very kind of faithful recreation. Uh, very impressed. So let's uh, go back to our super duper uh, single saw, uh, and let's try. Uh, our filter here. So we're going to start with the hardware first. Filter's a little different. Well, a lot different actually. So around 50% it disappears, or it turns into a sine wave, and then we got nothing. All right. And uh, the ampli the the amplifier does some weird stuff. That's why you get like a little chirp there, because this is, this is the initial setting, and yeah. So let's give this a try. Uh, we probably won't get the chirp type thing. No, we're not getting it. Yeah, we don't get that kind of chirpiness, um, which uh, contributes to the sound because you know on the on the 8080, if you have like a big sound and it's like hitting at the end, you have a nice big punchy kind of transient. Oh, wrong button. Yeah, right. You have that. You have that. You have that kind of grabbing of the sound. You don't have that with the 6K. Uh, I bet you could do that but like you know as a default because the way the the stages are set up on the real 8080 uh, you get that kind of punchiness to it that's kind of uh, in my opinion important to the sound of that era that little bit that little kind of glitchiness really adds to it especially uh, when you have a lot going on so uh, yeah let's uh, Bring the filter all the way up, so fill this open, and then bring the resonance to 50%. Right, we have some nice kind of harmonics added in the uh, in the 8080. Let's try the same thing here. 50%. Uh, 
making doubly sure we're both at 50% ish. Two completely different harmonics added. And we're both at uh, 24 decibels per octave um, uh, cutoff. Completely different shaping. Let's try to get the same kind of thing if we boost the resonance. Yeah, we're not getting it. Right, we get into major self-oscillation when we bring the resonance up. That may or may not hurt your ears. Uh, let's try to do the same thing with the uh, 6K. Yeah, it struggles. I can't do it. Um, that could, that could be an issue. You know, because the filter is the sound. You know, the this, this, this sound and the character of the unit, that's kind of important in my opinion. And uh, if they if, should have put a little bit of the same amount of effort into the Super Saw, which sounds amazing, into the filter. I hate to be so critical, but just being real. shapes it nicely uh, the 6k we get different different uh, kind of attributes when you have this at like s roughly 50% and then you have the 8080 at 50% different kind of character So the filters don't act the same, and that's kind of important. Um, another thing that uh, contributes to the sound is oops, is the treble, the tone control. So this is basically like another filter stage, right? Um, and it's kind of important. Uh, the JP has the same uh, bass and treble, so let's do the treble first and see what it adds. There, we're at 3 o'clock. Let's do the 80-80. Right, we're getting a little bit of volume. But plenty more kind of overtones are added. Let's bring it all the way up just to see what it's doing. And uh, just to be careful, JP might blow up. So they're both at uh, full volume, basically. And we'll do this guy. Right. Pretty close uh, in terms of what it's doing. It has quite a bit of those little dips. Uh, and a lot of harmonics are added. Which is good. Very close. Uh, for my ears. Okay, let's go down. Let's go down an octave. There we go. And for Oops. There. Hopefully you can hear that. If you can't, you can see. So let's see. Oh, let's go up one. There, now let's add some bass on the JP. We'll go all the way up to 100. Right, with the JP, 6K. Roughly the same. And, uh, yeah, so, I don't know, my verdict, uh, very close. Uh, good, fair price. Uh, it's less than 
way less than what I spent on this unit. Um, you're getting uh, a very accurate recreation uh, of the super saw. Uh, you can get an even more accurate recreation with the virus uh, hyper saw. Uh, and you can actually uh, detune it uh, and add some unison. I mean, not detune it, scratch that. You can add unison. Uh, the JP8080 has a unison mode. Uh, the 6K really needs a unison mode, in my opinion, because that's also the sound. And just to show you that that's the sound. Click the unison button. It's more of a it's more of a doubling, so it's doubling your super saw. Uh, I'm sure you can get the same effect um, with a upper layer and a lower layer, uh, but yeah, who knows? Oh yeah, you could yeah you could yeah I take that back. You can get the same effect with the upper layer and the lower layer uh, if you have uh, two going at once and then you detune them. You detune the parts, so you get more of a an interesting uh, deeper kind of pad sound um, yeah uh, let's see uh, the the amplitude uh, you don't get that kind of punch when you're you know kind of there uh, the way it's set up it's kinda it's kinda broken in the hardware unit how you get like that that click before uh, I think the envelope actually knows what's going on but you know that could be good. Analog. What does analog do? Hold on. Oh, wait. Wrong one. Oh, it's just oscillator drift. Okay. The JP8080 is, is an analog in... Well, it is. Some parts of it. There's no oscillator drift in the JP80. You can get the same effect with an LFO. Anyway, yeah, it's very good. And uh, hope you learned something. All right, take care and good night.